Hey guys, it's Tonner and today we're going to be talking about the Death Seed team. Now if you don't know, this is the new uh, mutant raid team that is coming and uh, going to be featuring Archangel. Now the rumors are still Archangel, but uh, the rumors have been saying that for quite a while and this team kind of matches up with him so far. So I'm just going to say Archangel. I'm going to say Archangel's coming. Um, I've already bet that I'll eat a shoe prior <laughs> to this, um, that he's going to be the Horseman of Death and be on this team. Now, if you don't know, first of all, the Death Seed team, uh, Archangel has to be a member of that. It would make zero sense if it is. So we've got Magneto, Psylocke, Dark Beast, and Archangel, which means we're left with this little fifth character coming now i don't know if this fifth character is going to be either the support character or the damaging character one of those two uh, we obviously have a semi support controller already with dark beast we've got a controller and uh with both um uh, Psylocke and Magneto, both controllers with a little bit of damage, but we need a heavy damage character, and we also need a, a better support character, I think, to fit onto this team. One that actually heals the team to start with. Um, we've got um, obviously the regenerations that will come in and the revives that come in with, um, with Dark Beast, but we don't have an actual healer here. So, this is the Horseman of Apocalypse. Um, obviously, uh, the Death Seed has a lot to do with the uh, a, uh, with the Horseman of Apocalypse and the Horseman of Death, uh, to be precise. The Horseman of Death, there's been a few of them, which means it could be potentially any of these. However, it does have to be a mutant. That's the first big thing here. The Horseman, uh, sorry, the fifth character coming will have to be a mutant because this is a mutant raid team. We've got Max, we've got Psylocke, we've got Dark Beast, and we've got Archangel, all mutants, which means we need a fifth mutant to go on this team. Now, if you don't know what the Death Seed is, it's essentially this artifact from the Celestials that is used to create um, the Horseman of Death. And then that Horseman of Death is essentially the successor to Apocalypse, um, which is why the Archangel had it quite a bit. And you can see even here in the picture, you've got Archangel there. And you can see in behind here, you can see um, Dark Beast there. Dark Beast and... Um, Archangel have had a fair bit to do with this, as well as Psylocke, as you can see, being implanted with it via um, Archangel, in fact. So those three have had a lot to do it with it. Magneto, not as much. However, 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 there was a storyline which was the Apocalypse Wars. And that took place during the time where Magneto was running the X-Men, or his own version of the X-Men, has to do with um, the Warren Worthington the third, as you can see here, Archangel, um, and to do with the Apocalypse stuff, and to do with the Horsemen and the Seed of Death. So this is during the time where this X-Men team um, was around and Archangel had the Death Seed, was going to implant it into um, into Psylocke, as you can see here, uh, during the time when they were the X-Men. So, where does this leave us? <laughs> We've got a few different characters that could potentially be on this team and potentially be the fifth here. I have a few different choices here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different characters that could potentially be on this team. I am going to try and do them in order of most likely to least likely, so that way you guys have an idea on who I think it's going to be. So then hopefully this helps you guys kind of, um, I don't know, theorize and just guess. <laughs> Uh, we, we don't have any evidence either way about it yet, so um, I'm kind of leaving it up to you guys to discuss down in the comments. Leave who you think is the fifth here. So, so the character I think is most likely to be here is M, Manette, Penance, whatever you want to call her, one of those three. They'll probably go with Penance, I'd say, but M would work as well. Um, given the fact that she's got a fair bit to do with this kind of um, during the... this 
kind of period here being with Magneto on his X-Men team and um, to do with Archangel and stuff like that definitely kind of leaning towards it as well as the fact that during the Age of Apocalypse she was also the character that ended up um, if we have a quick look here ended up actually taking over as the leader of the area after Weapon Omega ended up getting taken out. So she was to do with the Age of Apocalypse. She was pretty decently big over there as well. Um, and I honestly think that she'd be a really interesting character to kind of come on to this team because not only um, the fact that she's got like being able to kind of do the telekinesis and the telepathy to be able to do force fields and stuff like that, be able to shield them and protect them and stuff like that. She's also able to switch over to that penance form. Um, if I can bring up a picture of that um, penance form, Marvel, let's see if that brings it up here. You can see here, look at how amazing this is. I actually love this. I really, really hope that it is uh, is Penance slash M. Um, I'd be really interested to see if it is her because I think that she will suit it really well. All right. So I think that she is the most likely character. I think she can kind of fit into either that damage or protection or a combination of both. Next up, the second most likely character I think is Nightcrawler because people want Nightcrawler. Not only because, you know, he's freaking badass, he's amazing. He's also got a fair bit to do with the Age of Apocalypse stuff. And this is kind of like an Age of Apocalypse-esque kind of a combination between Age of Apocalypse and Archangel teams and stuff. So I think that'd be really interesting. And he's got a fair bit to do with that kind of universe over there as well. But he's also had a fair bit to do with the X-Men. He's been an X-Men character since 1970. By, yes, 1975. Um, and he's honestly one of the characters that most people have been asking for to come to the game. So I would love to see him. And I know that he's probably one of the most requested characters to come, even outside of like out of everyone that I could have heard requested to come to the game, Nightcrawler is uh, the, like the most likely. So I think that they could potentially do him here, uh, like add him into the team, because when you have a look at the characters coming to the team, you've got Archangel, obviously, who's pretty popular, um, Magneto and Psylocke already in the game, so they're not going to be big draws to the game. Um, Dark Beast, I don't think is going to be a big draw to this team. So they need like one person, like... The Gambit to Archangel's Rogue. The the, uh, the Strange Supreme or um, the Wong or... I don't know. Who's the second most popular character in Darkhold? Um, this, a character that I think is going to pull people into the team. And I think Nightcrawler can suit that really well. So I think that there's definitely potential that he ends up being on this team. Next up is Daken. Dakin, Dakin, or Fang as he's currently going call by, has been a horseman of death in the past, has been a dark avenger for a bit as well, um, and I think that he would suit well as being like a, um, a raid character due to the fact that he's like, if you don't know who he is, he's uh, Wolverine's son. And he's got like the same powers or similar powers to him as well. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually has... No, he's got the bone claws. I don't think he has the metal claws. Um, but I think that it would be really cool to see him. As well as pheromone control. And pheromone control would be very interesting to add into the game as like a... Um, a very interesting way for it to work in raids. Like you could have him as he's getting injured or something like that, lower the offense of the enemies or I don't know. There's cool ways that they could potentially implement that in. Next up, I think is Hope Summers. Now, the reason I think Hope is because I think that she'd just be an amazing raid character. I think that she would be an insanely cool raid character as a character who buffs up everyone around her. Like, she empowers everyone around her, and I think that she'd just be an amazing support character. I don't think she's super likely, but I do think that she has a chance to be kind of added into the game. However, I assume that if they add her, they'll go alongside Cable, and it's doubtful that Cable's on this team. Banshee, I think, is the next most likely, and then uh, Blink. Blink, obviously, but from being Age of Apocalypse, being an alternate reality um, character and stuff like that. And then Banshee's been the Horseman of Death for a bit um, way back during the Apocalypse Twins 
saga i believe it was so those guys i think have a chance of being able to get on there nowhere near as likely as these guys so what i'm guessing is most likely m second nightcrawler purely because of um the draw that he'll bring to the team and the for people's kind of requests and stuff like that around him then you're looking at daken then hope summers actually i'm going to put hope as very last very last i think it's banshee then blink then hope uh, I think that they all have a chance to be able to be on this team. So we'll see who they choose. I am really hoping that it's Penance though. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye.